fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at Deluxe Class Cyberverse Universe Chromia from the Transformers Legacy United line from Hasbro. So this is a repaint slash retool of Transformers Animated Universe Prowl, which we saw back in Transformers Legacy Evolution. Uh, you know, maybe not the best mold for Chromia. I know she is usually some kind of, you know, motorcycle, two-wheeled vehicle. Um, but usually I tend to think that it looks more like Afterburner from G1, more than a traditional motorcycle. But here we are. Um, we have some nice artwork of Chromia here on the side in robot mode and some nice artwork of the motorcycle mode here on the front. Over here on the side, you have half of the Legacy United mural. Not too much going on on the bottom. And then you have the Legacy United logo there up top. Spinning it around to the back, we have some nice product shots of the robot mode and the motorcycle mode. And she does come with those shuriken because, of course, Prowl had those shuriken even though they don't really make sense for her character. But again, here we are. I'm going to go ahead and get Chromia out of the packaging here, and we'll take a closer look. So here is Chromia out of the packaging, and I still think this is a really good mold. I mean, there's not really a lot of kibble whatsoever. This little piece here on the back that's kind of the seat of the motorcycle, you can have it hang down. I kind of like to flip it all the way up. I just think it kind of makes it a little bit more, you know, as part of the backpack here. You really only have these two panels here, which I don't really think get in the way of anything, so it's a pretty clean robot mode. And the other thing that I think this really has going for it, I love this color scheme. I think it works so well. You have the two different tones of blue. You have that little bit of kind of aqua in there just to really make it pop little bit of red and I think the new head really works well I think that is a fantastic head sculpt I love the eyes nicely painted the silver for the face just all in all that's a really great head sculpt you have nice Autobot symbol there on the front some translucent kind of light pink which is also here on the back of the forearms because they just kind of molded uh, the two like light bar pieces the red and the blue for Prowl because he was like a police motorcycle They've just molded them in light pink here. Uh, but yeah, overall, I just, I really like the color scheme. I like it a lot. Uh, she does, of course, have those two shurikens, which are also done in that kind of aqua or turquoise, whatever color you want to call that. And you can pop those on to the two wheels to give a little bit more of that color just to kind of break it up. I think it looks good. I really like the color scheme quite a bit. Uh, these are still kind of wonky in terms of being accessories. They still, like, don't quite spin open all the way. You can kind of click them open a little bit. Like that. Uh, the one hand is specifically molded to hold these, so it holds them very nicely. And then the other hand is just a normal 5mm uh, peg, so this does... Oh, well, okay. She's going to show me up on camera. <laughs> I was going to say, every other time I've tried to get her to hold one in this hand, it's just completely fallen out. But, yeah, there you go. So it doesn't hold them very well. Like, I get that these accessories have to be included because they're part of the mold. Uh, but I would have liked them to just throw in a, a, gu a regular gun as well. Um, you know, just steal it from some other character. It doesn't have to be new. But just give her some kind of blaster. Some kind of regular generic blaster would have been fine. But the shurikens just don't really make sense for her. And so I would have liked to have seen some other kind of weapon included. But otherwise... It's a good mold, it's a fantastic color scheme, and I think that new head sculpt is just phenomenal. So, you know, honestly, I'm I'm kind of happy with this. I really didn't think I was going to care for this that much, because when they first showed it off, I, I mean, I've always loved the color scheme, but it's just, you know, her being a motorcycle, like, yes, she's a two-wheeled vehicle, but is it really a motorcycle? Not usually. But I will say it's better than the Siege one, which was just that standard rectangle that they had done for all the girls since power of the primes i guess we got so many female autobots with that rectangle alt mode that just wasn't that great uh so i will say this is a step in the right direction i think this looks better than that it's a really nice dynamic robot mode very clean like i said you have a little bit of a backpack here but it's kind of angular and has you know some some dynamic quality to it so i think it actually looks kind of cool and the rest of the robot mode is just so clean doesn't have a giant backpack hanging down to the thigh area so I do appreciate that. Uh, and real quick, here is Animated Prowl, just so you can see that they are the same mold. I really don't think anything is different. Obviously, the head is different, and the chest is painted differently. 
but I really don't think any molding is different. I mean, the arms, the hands, the midsection, the thighs, the legs, I think it's all exactly the same. I really don't think there's any mold differences other than the head. I think it's just the paint scheme, but it looks good. And I think it was smart. They painted the like chest area so different that it really does look significantly different. And I think they did a nice job with that. And I think that was a good idea. But yeah, I would have really just, I would have loved for her to come with a blaster because the shurikens totally make sense for him, but just really don't make sense for her. And that's a bit of a bummer. But other than that, uh, robot mode looks pretty good. So since it is the exact same mold as Prowl, articulation is going to be pretty much the same, but we'll go through it. I will say that the head has a fantastic range of motion. I mean, she can look up really extensively. She can look down. Not too bad. Uh, you can tilt side to side a lot. You can look side to side. So a lot of nice range of motion there for the head. You have out to the side hinge for the shoulder as well as a rotation. You have bicep swivel. 90 degrees there in the elbow. Unfortunately, nothing in the wrist because it just folds into the forearm for transformation. You have a waist swivel. You kick pretty far forward. Kick pretty far back. Pretty far out to the side. Got a thigh swivel there. 90 degrees in the knee. Uh, the ankles can go front to back all the way down as well as side to side. So again, it's a really nice range of motion for a really clean robot mode. No kibble. I like it. I really do. Like I said, it, I liked it back when it was Prowl. I like it here. It's just maybe not what I would have picked for Chromia. But I do love the head sculpt and I love the color scheme. So, okay, it works. Transformation won't really be anything new either, but we'll go through it here. So we're going to put the arms all the way out to the side. And we're going to fold those hands into the forearms like so. Then we are going to rotate at the waist 90 degrees. And then we're going to flip up this section here. The head is kind of on this plant, this panel here. And that's going to flip up. And then these will rotate all the way down. And then the entire chest section will rotate up. And then you have to kind of be careful because like the head needs to fit underneath this. But you have to make sure that there's like enough clearance. So you want this to kind of go up because she as well as Prowl, or I should say just like Prowl, has those like odometers and things on the back of her head. So you need to make sure that this can clear and that'll go up and over and stop about there. At that point, we're going to hinge this down. The arms will come all the way back and peg into each other like so. You can go ahead and push the seat down. We're gonna leave these to hang out here for now. This is going to just kind of push forward as far as it can. We're going to rotate this 90 degrees. This is going to come up and the very like little tip of this knee guard is going to fit into this tiny little area. Hold on, why isn't this? There we go. So this is going to come up and sit in this little area here. There's just like a tiny little notch. It's not really something that clicks in. It's just kind of for guidance. Then you're going to rotate this. Come on, stay in place there. This is going to rotate around, and then the foot is going to kind of sit under here. Again, doesn't peg in, but just kind of rests there. Then we are going to take this foot and rotate it 90 degrees, and this will kind of hang out. You have to take these little handlebar pieces and rotate them back like this. So rotate this back. And then these are going to pass under here. And you can see that there is a little tab right here, which kind of notches in there. And then there's a connector right there, which is going to peg into the side of the foot. So this will kind of come up, notch in there, and then connect to the side of the foot. Do the same for this. Rotate that around, notch it in there connected to the side of the foot. Then you're going to rotate this up. You want to kind of bring this up in a way that this kind of fits in here. And then as you kind of push this all in, it should kind of pop into place just like that. And there you go. There is Chromia in motorcycle mode. 
for the most part, I think the motorcycle mode looks pretty good. There is a little kickstand here that you can pop out. Now, this will cover it a little bit, but it does have like a notch here that you can kind of get your nail under to pull, pop that out and then it'll sit in place. And it works pretty well. So again, the color scheme I think looks really good. There are a couple things, obviously, like the light bars here that were meant for uh, it being a police motorcycle, which, you know, that doesn't really apply here. So they just did it in the translucent pink. But you have the nice pops of the kind of like tealish aqua color, really contrasts with the darker blue, a little bit of paint here on the side, paint around the wheel on the side that doesn't have the hubcap. So I think that's pretty cool. And then you have the pink here for the windshield, Autobot symbol, this is just the chest again. And you have her little head with the odometers on the back. So it's a cool mode. Um, you know, it works. I think the, the robot mode folds up, folds up pretty well. There's a little bit of gaps here. It was the same for Prowl, but I think for the most part, it's not too bad. You can kind of pretend almost like this is the engine block because it almost kind of looks like one. Um, I will say that for whatever reason, the shurikens seem to spin better. When I had them with Prowl, they would start to unwind and then hit and then the wheel wouldn't spin. But I don't have that problem here. So maybe it's just these haven't loosened up enough yet and hopefully they won't. Uh, but yeah, overall, I think it looks pretty good. I really love the color scheme. Like I said, I think that's that's what this toy has going for it above all else. It's just a really fantastic color scheme. And I think it, the bike mode here looks pretty good. I think Chromia is pretty good. I mean, to me, it comes down to maybe I just wouldn't have named it Cyberverse Chromia because I don't really think it's a good representation of her appearance in that show. But if this is just kind of a new interpretation of Chromia, I think it's fine. I love the head sculpt. I think they did a great job with that. Uh, it really looks good. It's painted beautifully. I think it definitely looks like Chromia. They really nailed it with the head sculpt. And I absolutely love the color scheme. At the end of the day, this is a good mold. I think it worked well for Prowl. I think it works well here. It's a very clean robot mode. The motorcycle mode holds together well enough. I think it looks pretty good. So as just a Chromia toy, I think this is pretty cool. Is it necessarily Cyberverse Chromia? I would argue not really. But that's kind of semantics. I mean, does that really matter? If you just want a cool Chromia toy, I don't think this will disappoint. Um, I understand they had to include the hubcap shurikens because it's part of the mold. But they just really don't make sense for her. I think the inclusion of any kind of generic blaster would have gone a long way uh, to really kind of make this feel more like Chromia. Because again, she's not a ninja. She, she shouldn't have shuriken. That doesn't really make sense. But if you're just looking for a cool Chromia toy with a fantastic head sculpt and a cool color scheme, then I don't think this one will disappoint. Uh, you know, you could probably wait for a sale. I can't see this one flying off the shelves, uh, considering what is in the rest of this wave. You know, Gears, I think, is going to be highly sought after. Um, and Shard was fantastic. And that's not to put this toy down. I just think it's going to certainly be the least coveted of the three. So you might be able to get her for cheaper or some kind of sale later on. Unless you can find her, you know, on Target this week because everything's 30% off, but that ends by the end of today. So, again, I think you could probably wait for a sale, but at the end of the day, I think it is worth checking out because it is a good representation of Chromia. I just don't know if it's Cyberverse Chromia. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as always, thank you so much for watching.